Introducing the Taylor Vortex Flow Nanoreactor TVF, which revolutionizes the API crystallization process with continuous production. TVF is easy to use. In order to generate Taylor Vortex Flow, the inner cylinder rotates and the processing liquid is sent into the TVF. The processing liquid enters through the inlet, where it is continuously processed and is discharged through the outlet. What looks like a series of stripes is the Taylor Vortex. Each stripe forms a donut-shaped vortex, and each stripe is continuously lined up with almost no interference. The processing liquid is continuously processed by being pushed out from the inlet to the outlet while being stirred in this donut-shaped vortex. When the annular gap between the outer and inner cylinder is filled with liquid and the inner cylinder is rotating, a vortex is generated as shown. A characteristic of Taylor vortices is that clockwise and counterclockwise vortices appear alternately, and this is called a ring pair vortex. Adjacent vortices flow in the same direction, as shown by the arrows, and the flow is difficult to disrupt, so there is almost no liquid movement between the vortices. This is called high extrudability. This high extrudability produces innovative effects in many processes, including crystallization processes using poor solvents. When red processing liquid and blue pour solvent are introduced from the inlet, the two liquids instantly form a vortex and mix, which begins the crystallization of the API. The crystals then grow in a donut-shaped vortex and move toward the outlet, which continuously crystallizes the API. Due to its high extrudability, Taylor Vortex Flow is known to not only have a uniform residence time, but also a uniform velocity gradient and shear force. For this reason, the particle size after crystallization tends to be uniform, resulting in a sharp particle size distribution. In addition, particle size can be controlled by adjusting the mixing time and the rotation speed of the inner cylinder. Until now, when performing crystallization, a batch production method has been used in which the processing solution is poured into a tank and stirred. With this method, the products are removed all at once after the operation is completed. But the large scale of the equipment requires many workers, and the large tanks occupy a lot of space. In contrast, continuous crystallization using TVF allows the product to be extracted continuously. Furthermore, the equipment is small and simple, so it can be managed by a few people and does not take up much space. Continuous production of the API crystallization process allows the pulverization process after drying to be omitted. This can reduce manufacturing costs. In secondary batteries, the active material can be packed more densely due to the spherical formation and sharp particle size distribution, thereby enabling higher capacity, which is an ongoing challenge for the automotive industry. In cosmetics, finer particles and emulsions create a finish that spread better and has a finer texture, which can improve penetration into the skin. By atomizing and dispersing pigments in paints, a uniform, glossy and luxurious finish can be achieved. It also serves as a rust-proofing agent against water and oxygen. TBF, a revolutionary reactor using Taylor Vortex Flow, has many other features. The TBF has high mechanical precision, making it possible to minimize the annular gap while maximizing the rotation in the inner cylinder. 
This produces high shearing force, making it possible to obtain crystals with a sharper particle size distribution. Also, the inner cylinder can easily be replaced. Shearing force and production volume can be adjusted by replacing the inner cylinder with a different thickness and changing the gap width. Inline cleaning using Taylor Vortex is also possible. Simply push the cleaning liquid from the inlet to the outlet to thoroughly clean the entire gap space. The TBF has a narrow gap between the outer and inner cylinders, so its high area efficiency makes temperature adjustment easy. Ideal for processing liquids that require strict temperature control. There are three models in the TBF lineup with different throughputs. In addition to stainless steel, the inner and outer cylinders can also be changed to Hastelloy or Fluor Resin. If a visual of the Taylor flow is required, glass can be used for the outer cylinder to see the vortices. Option for mass production model is also available. We would like to introduce the gas liquid slug flow jointly developed by Tipton and Kobe University. Gas liquid slug flow is a process in which bands of liquid and gas phases are generated alternately by rotating the inner cylinder while continuously inflowing gas and liquid at a constant rate. Since the liquid phase is completely separated by the gas phase, there is no axial liquid movement and the variation in residence time is minimized. An experiment was conducted to confirm the effect of gas liquid slug flow on preventing axial diffusion. A drop of ink was placed in the liquid phase and the ink concentration and brightness were measured at two locations near the inlet and outlet. The result is the graph on the right. Both measurement points show almost the same graph curve and the ink concentration remains unchanged, even as the vortex moves toward the outlet. This indicates the ink does not diffuse in the axial direction thanks to the gas phase separation. Compared to a normal Taylor vortex containing only liquid, the degree of diffusion of the gas liquid slug flow is approximately 1 over 250, making it possible to further homogenize the particle size distribution. Especially in processes with long processing times, the influence of axial diffusion becomes significant, so gas liquid slug flow is more effective. Try Tipton's TBF. Taylor Vortex Flow Nanoreactor today, the revolutionary API crystallization process with continuous production. Mm -hmm.